Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Hello and welcome to West Washington Junior Senior High School for sectional 62 between the Crothersville Tigers and the Trinity Lutheran Cougars. This is the second game tonight as in the first game the West Washington Senators took on the Shaw Memorial Hilltoppers where the Senators came out on top. So that means the Senators will play the Medora Hornets on Friday night at 6 p.m. That will be the first game, and the winner of this game will take on Edinburgh in the second game on Friday night at approximately 7.30. The starters first for the Crothersville Tigers are Dominic St Stevens, Damian Bowman, Quentin Kiesler,
Zach Held and Cable Spall. And for the Trinity Lutheran Cougars, their starters are Tyler Goker, number 10, Jacob Sabotin at number 23, Hudson Norton at number 5, Mitchell Hackman at number 32, and Jack Marksbury at number 25. We are now nearing the tip-off for the next basketball game. It will be Kiesler jumping for Crothersville, standing in at 6-4, and for the Tigers, or for the Cougars, it will be, I believe, number five, Norton, as he wins the tip. So now Goker will get the ball, and it appears that the Tigers are starting out in a 3-2 zone. And that's a bad pass right there, went right through his hands, and now the Tigers will get it as Cable Spall brings it up. Spall, the main ball handler for this team. Also, definitely their leading scorer. I believe he went for 22 against the Senators earlier in the year. Now Spall's got in the corner. He's going to get a screen from Kiesler. He doesn't use it. He goes left side, and he's going to step on the baseline. So will be the Cougars' ball. Now Tyler Goker will bring it up. Goker's going to go right side. He's going to get it back. Now he's going to swing it across. That ball is swung into the corner. Shot is up by Norton. It is good. Those are the first two points of the game there. So now Spall with it. He's going to go left side. They're going to kick it up top for help. Spall gets it back. Spall now gets into the paint. Goes up with the acrobatic shot, but an offensive rebound there for Stevens, and he's going to swing it back out. Not swung over for help. Now Bowman with it. Bowman gives it back to help. Help's going to dribble it right side. Now it's swung back over for Bowman. Bowman now throws it down low for Stevens, and a foul will be called on Stevens as it appeared that he may have pushed his man to the ground, and then he was wide open for a layup, but foul will be called, so we'll go over to the Cougars. So Goker will bring it up. He swings it to the left side. Now he's going to get it back. Goes back left side, Sabotin with it in the corner. Goes back up top for Goker. Now it's swung all the way across. Goker with it again. He gives it off to Hackman in the corner. Tries to throw it in the high post. It's going to be tipped away. And Spall gets it from behind and gives it off to Kiesler. And now Helt with it. Helt goes off to Spall. Spall will dribble back out. Now he goes to the left. He's going to kick it over to Kiesler, who's going to get a screen. Steps back for the three pointer. It's no good off the front of the rim. It is rebounded by Norton, who's going to kick it all the way ahead for Hackman. Hackman gets inside, and a good move there as number 32, Mitchell Hackman, gets the layup to go. So now Spall's got it near midcourt. Spall dribbling around, puts up the three-pointer. It is good. Scoring Crothersville's first points of the game. So now Goker's got it for the Cougars. Goker swings it across. Now Sabotin with it in the corner. It's swung back out for Marksbury. Now Sabotin puts up a shot in the corner. It's no good. Offense rebound for Goker. He goes back up, and that will be a foul called. They called the foul on 35 Cable Spall. Goker's first shot is up. It is no good off the back of the rim. We'll have one more here. That shot is good. 
Joker now has one point. This ball now crosses half court. He's going to go off to the left side for help. Throws it right down low for Kiesler. Kiesler turns right. And a foul will be called on Kiesler going in the post. So now Tim Goker will bring it up. Goker's going to throw it in the corner. Now they throw it down low for Spoten. Swings it back out. There's a three-point try, and it's good by 25. Jack Marksberry. So now Spall with it. He's going to get a screen from Kiesler. He's going to go left side. Now he goes back right. Now he's going to try to get into the post. Back out for Kiesler. Kiesler's going to swing it across for Bowman. Bowman being guarded by Saboten pretty far back. Now Bowman gives it off to Spall. Spall with the step back. Thought about the three. Now he's going to have to give it back to Bowman. Now Bowman's going to dribble around. Gives it off to Kiesler on the left side. Now it's swung back across. Good pass down low. Holt with the shot. It is good. Zach Holt gets the layup to fall. So now Goku will bring it back up. Goku's going to swing it across. Now it's in the corner for Saboten. Norton down low and he gets the shot to go. Now Kiesler's got it. He's going to swing it over for Stevens. Stevens goes back to Kiesler. Now I throw it into the high post. Ball is taken away now by Norton. And he's going to get out onto a fast break. He goes for the dunk and he misses it. Now a foul will be called. And Dominic Stevens is down on the ground. He appears to be a little shaken up. In accordance with the Worcester County Health Department, we ask that all fans please be respectful of wearing their masks while attending the Section 62 games. All fans, please put your mask on. They're not eating. This is already the third entry we've seen tonight between these two games. We're going to go to a quick commercial break, and then we're co we'll come back. Actually, no, it appears that Stevens is getting up now. He's now starting to walk up the court. And with this, basketball will resume as he gets a substitution. Number 44, Devin Morgan, will come into the game. Now, number five, Norton will have two shots at the free throw line. First shot for Norton is good. He's up to five points on the game. Norton's second shot is up and good. Now Spall will cross half court. The Tigers trail by seven here early. Now it looks like Spall is just trying to get maybe an isolation here. He's going to finally swing it over for health. Now Morgan's got it. He hands it off to Spall. Spall steps back, puts up a three. It's no good in and out. Now a battle for the rebound. Ball's on the ground. Spoten gets it, and he's going to give it off. Now a good pass down low, Norton with it. He goes baseline, gets it blocked away, and now Spall's got it. Spall, now guarded by Goker. He's going to swing it over for Helt. Helt looking for somewhere to go. He gives it off to Spall. 
Spall's not going to kick it over for Morgan. Spall gets it back in the corner. He's going to get a screen. Now Norton's on him. Spall gets it all the way to the basket, puts up a shot, and it's no good. And a foul will be called. So I now believe Spall will have two shots at the free throw line. First shot for Spall is good. Second shot is good as well. That puts him to five points. So now Goker brings it up. Now it appears that the Tigers have gone to man to man. Now there's a three pointer by Norton. It's no good. Will be rebounded by Helt. Helt will now take it up. He gives it off to Morgan on the right wing. Goes back to Helt, and now Spall's got it. Spall now tries to get inside, gets all the way to the basket, and gets the layup to go. Spall now with seven points. Now Marksberry with it. He's going to give it off to Goker. Goker kicks it over for Norton. Norton's now going to swing it over for Saboten. Now gives it to Norton on the cut. Puts a shot and it's no good. And now a foul will be called on 32 Kiesler. So now Kiesler's got two fouls. Norton's first shot is up and it's no good. Now substitution for the Tigers. Right, it will be 14, Elijah Plassey. Norton's second shot is good. It's now Spall crosses half court. Under a minute to go in the first quarter. Tigers trail by four. Helt with it, picks up his dribble right inside the three-point line, gives it off to Spall. Now it looks like Bowman tries to set him a screen, Spall gets it to about the elbow. Now he's going to give it off, now the ball is going to be taken away. And on the fast break, the layup is up and it's no good, but a putback is also no good. Now the ball is knocked around. Offensive rebound though, and that shot is good by 32, Mitchell Hackman. Now 20 seconds to go in the quarter. Spall with it. Spall crosses half court. Now just about 10 seconds to go in the quarter. Might see an isolation here for Spall. Now it's just five seconds. Now he steps across, puts up a three. It's good. Good shot there by 35, Cable Spall. And he's now put himself up to 10 points already this game. So that will be the end of the first quarter where the Trinity Lutheran Cougars lead 15-12. We'll now go to a commercial break and come back for the second quarter. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. Welcome back to West Washington for game two of tonight's sectional between the Carlisville Tigers and the Trinity Lutheran Cougars. As the second quarter starts, uh, I'd like to restate, restate the score, which is 15 to 12. So now Spall will get it after hitting that amazing buzzer beater to end it off the first quarter. 
He's got all but two of their points so far. Now he passes it into the high post, but it's going to get all the way over to the opposite wing. Now ball's thrown back into the high post. Helt with it. Bowman now puts up a three. It's no good. But an offensive rebound, Morgan with it. And a foul will be called. And they're going to call the foul on 32, Mitchell Hackman. Now substitution for Crothersville, number 42, Matthew Klaus. Klaus comes in 14, Classy. Tigers get in for Spall. Spall guarded by Goker. Spall now gives it off to Morgan, gets it back. Now Spall back over to Morgan. Now he's gonna have to try to give it off to Klaus. It's gonna be taken away. Shot is up there and it is good. That was 25, Jack Marksberry. Now Spall dribbling it around. Throws it off to the left side for Helt. Now Spall gets back in the corner. Spall will get a screen. Now he's going to try to dribble all the way around. Now Norton's on him. He's going to give it off to Morgan. Now it's going across for Helt. Now Klaus with it. Klaus is going to give it right off to Spall. Spall goes aside. And a foul will be called. That was on five, Hudson Norton. So now Spall will go to the line for two free throws. Shot by Spall is good. Now 15, Cade Hill comes in for the Cougars. Second shot by Spall is good. So now Goker will cross half court. He's guarded by Spall. He's going to give it off to Hill. Hill's going to get two screens. Gets all the way inside. Gets the light to go. And now a timeout will be called by the Tigers. What would just be a 30 second timeout? 30 so now the Trinity Lutheran Cougars now lead 19 to 14, up by five, two minutes into the second quarter. For Crothersville so far, Cable Spall has got 12 of the 14 points, the other two going to number 10, Zach Helt. Now Bowman will take it out. He gets it into Spall. Spall is going to cross half court. He's guarded by Goker. Spall is going to give it off to Bowman. Spall gets it back. Now Spall is just going to take it slowly. Gives it off to Helt. Now Morgan with it. Now it's going to be swung back up for Bowman. Now they give it off to Spall. Spall with a step back three. It's no good. It's rebounded by the Cougars. He's going the other way quickly. Gives it off to Norton who gets inside. Gets blocked by the bottom of the backboard. And now Spall pushing it ahead. Spall's going to get all the way into the lane. Puts up the fadeaway. Can't get it to fall. Rebounded by Goker. He's going to kick it ahead for Norton. Norton goes all the way. His layup is good. Now Spall will have to bring it back up, down by seven. And now a full timeout will be called by the Tigers, so we're going to go to a quick commercial break.
Bishop Seed is more than just seed sales. They're a multifaceted business. Owner Brady Bishop is a channel seedsman who knows your fields and can recommend an elite product designed to perform in your area and maximize the profitability of every acre on your farm. Bishop Seeds also offers chemical sales for the ever-expanding chemical industry and a variety of cover crops to help keep erosion down and yield up. They also offer climate field view so you can make a data-driven decision to maximize the return on every acre. Reach out and give Brady a call at 812-620-4624. Welcome back to West Washington for the ninth sectional game between the Crothersville Tigers and the Trinity Lutheran Cougars. Currently in the second quarter, five minutes and 11 seconds remain before the third. Currently the score is 21 to 14. Spall will now bring it up again. Spall is gonna give it off onto the right wing. Helt with it. Helt tries to go middle. Helt now with it in the corner. He's going to kick it down low. Morgan puts up the shot. It's no good. Rolls around the rim twice and won't fall. Now Goker with it. Goker gives it off to Marksberry. He gives it off to Norton. Norton thought about a shot. Now back to Marksberry. Swings it around to Goker. Goker, Goker with it at the top of the key. Gives it back to Marksberry. Now Saboten with it in the corner. Saboten goes baseline, gets all the way into the lane, and it's just going to be knocked away. But now Hill gets it back, and he tried to throw it a bounce pass, but nobody was there. Helt now is going to push it ahead. Helt gives it off, Klaus puts up a three-pointer, and it's good. Matthew Klaus with the three. Now Goker's got it. Goker throw, or pass down low for Norton's no good. Now Spall with it. He's going to cross half court again. Spall now goes in on Goker. Gets all the way to the basket. And he gets a tough shot to go. Norton now with it. Norton puts up a three. It's no good. Morgan goes after. He gets the ball on the ground. And he throws it right to Goker. Goker now gets inside, and he's going to be fouled hard, and he's going to get the shot to fall. Now substitution for the Cougars. Number 32, Mitchell Hackman comes back in. Coming in for 15, Cade Hill. And also another substitution will be 20, Rotten. Goker's shot is good, putting him at four points on the game. So now Helt with it. Helt trying to get inside. Good dribble moves, puts up the fader. It's no good. Cougars with the rebound. And now Norton pushes it ahead. He's going to give it off. Goes inside, layup is no good, but an offensive rebound, and that shot's good by 32, Mitchell Hackman. Spall with it. Spall guarded by Goker. Spall definitely a main ball handler and main scorer. He's up to 14 of the 19. Now a handoff here for Spall. Spall with a step back three. It's no good. Another good rebound there by Brockton. Now Goker with it. Goker gives it off. Norton puts up the corner three, and it's good. Norton now with 12 points on the game. Spall. His pass is going to be taken away by Norton. He's going to now give it off to Goker, and a good block there by Spall. So now Norton will take it out underneath the basket. Cougars now up by 10. 
That's just going to be thrown away. And now Spall's going to push it ahead. Spall stops. Thought about a three. Now goes inside. And they're going to call a charge. Goker now with it. He's going to get a double screen. Gets all the way to the block. Puts up the layup and it's good. That puts him at six points in this game. And now another timeout will be called. Will be a full timeout. So we're going to go to a quick commercial break. In 2015, we launched the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. This is phase two of the Happily Ever After project. With the assistance of several local donors and sponsors, along with five years of fundraising by the Washington County Youth Foundation, we finally had enough resources to launch the service. The Dolly Parton Imagination Library is a free service that mails age-appropriate books to all required Washington County children under the age of five. Although the faces of the leadership of the Washington County Community Foundation have changed over time, as is always the case with any healthy, thriving organization, the core values and mission remain the same. We continue to work diligently to assist our donors in creating a legacy that is meaningful to them. All of our success is directly related to the generosity of the sons and daughters of Washington County. We will continue to help our donors give back to our community through our foundation and improve the quality of life in our county. Welcome back as basketball resumes here at West Washington for the matchup between the Cartersville Tigers and the Trinity Lutheran Cougars in the sectional tournament. Kiesler came back in for the Tigers and he had the ball down low. He's going to get it again. He puts up a shot. It's no good. So far into this game, it is 31 to 19 with the Cougars leading. Hackman's shot is no good, but an offensive rebound. And now the ball is loose and Kiesler's going to get it. He's now going to give it off to Spall. Tigers are now down by 12 with a minute 10 to go in the, in the half. Spall looking for Kiesler. Spall gets it down to Kiesler now. He's going to go left, puts up the fader. It's going to be short, but an offensive rebound for Bowman. He puts up the shot and he will be fouled. Now Bowman will go to the line for two shots. First shot is good by Bowman. Here's first point of the game. Second shot is good as well, putting him up to two. And now, Cozville trails by 10. Now Marksberry with it. Marksberry throws it off to the wing for Hackman. Gives it back up top. Swung around for Norton, now into the corner. Three pointers up, it's no good. But an offensive rebound. Goes up with the layup, it's no good. Another missed layup. Now ball is still free. Now Norton for the wide open three, and it's no good. And this time Bowman gets the rebound for the Tigers, and now he gets it off to Spald. Just 15 seconds to go in the half. Tigers need a big shot right here. Spall is going to get a screen. He's going to go right side, steps back, gives it off. Kiesler puts up the three. It's good. And that will be the end of the half. And that would be Kiesler's first three points of the game. It's so now at the end of the half, the Crothersville Tigers are trailing the Trinity Lutheran Cougars 31-24. to We'll now go to a couple of breaks, and then we'll come back for some stats and the second half. 
The recent market volatility has affected just about everybody's financial and investment situations. So if you're planning on retiring soon, will it still be possible? Of course, with many people's jobs being affected by the coronavirus pandemic, your retirement plans may have been thrown into confusion. But assuming your employment is stable, you'll need to review your retirement goals and progress you've made towards achieving them so you can determine what moves, if any, you need to make. Then ask yourself some questions. For starters, are you flexible enough to make some changes to your retirement lifestyle? If you can find a way to make it less costly, you may not need to change your current investment strategy significantly. Also, if necessary, are you willing to work longer than you had originally projected so that you can put more money into your IRA or 401k? Here's another question. When should you take Social Security? The longer you wait, the bigger your monthly payments. Even in the midst of uncertainty, you still have choices. Consider them carefully and make the decision that works for you. For more information, contact Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Ryan Kemp at 812-620-5604, member SIPC. At the heart of the Channel brand are the relationships we build with farmers like you. We call it seedsmanship. With Channel, you'll experience our seedsmanship at work services on your farm through the year-round, hands-on, customized service of your Channel seedsman. Your local Channel seedsman, Brady Bishop, knows your fields and can recommend an elite seed product designed to perform in your area and maximize the profitability of every acre. Contact Brady, your local channel seedsman, at It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Bob Lovell with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. This is our weekly conversation about all things IHSAA related. Paul, busy, busy time. We're in we're in championship mode, and we've been talk we've been talking about championships for a while, and we're in it. Girls basketball state finals, four great games this weekend, and uh, there's a lot to be excited about. And it's not just girls. There's a lot more going on in the IHSA winter schedule. Absolutely, man. We just wrapped up an incredible wrestling tournament uh, this past weekend at Bankers Live Field House and crowned 14 champions. And you know, we didn't think we'd do that at one point this year, but we certainly celebrated that with style. And people were happy to be back and and, and get a winter state championship in. But it doesn't stop. You know, we're rolling um, this weekend. <laughs> we've got boys swimming, we've got girls basketball, uh, and it's a it's a pretty busy time here at the the house at IHSA. Just to give people a, an idea of how fluid these situations are, there was a time, correct, where you weren't sure what swimming was going to be about or whether you'd even have a swimming championship. Yeah, I mean, that's been uh, the case all along this year. Um, you know, we always plan to have it, but you know, given with, with the circumstances that we find ourselves in as a nation here dealing with this pandemic, 
you know, it, it is very fluid, and you continue to plan and, and hope for the best, and people do the right thing along the way, and all of a sudden we turn around, and by gosh, we're going to celebrate a, a state championship. And, and, and that's just a tribute to the great people who work with student-athletes across the state. I know that, uh, you know, the events are not as they used to be, but I'm sure that the kids and their parents and their coaches and everybody involved are ecstatic that they get to uh, compete for a championship rather than be on the sidelines. They're, they're in the action, and while it may be a little bit different in terms of some logistical things, you get to compete for that championship you've dreamed about. That's exactly right. And, and Bob, one thing that I'm just so proud about is that, you know, we, we started our Indiana. We started everything on time. We contested our state championships on time with a full complement of kids. And um, last year in, in 2020, we had um, the student athletes participate in the state finals, and we had the same number participate this year. And, and that's not been the case across the country. And, and that's just a tribute, again, to our staff and the people who – thought outside the box and just found a way to get it done you and i like to call it only in indiana (laughs) that's right that is exactly right about what we do but trust me when i tell you only in indiana can these kinds of things happen and also to you i mean not to be uh i'll be the president of your fan club if you want me to but people seem to think they forget that you took over. Well, that's all right. You took over the job as commissioner. This is your first year, and you inherited uh, a situation, a pandemic, uh, for which none of us had ever uh, endured or planned for. And you and your staff have just done an, an amazing job of making this all work. So congratulations. Well, thanks, Bob. And, again, I appreciate the kind words. And, you know, again, I'll, I'll always pass those back to the people I get to work with. They do a, a phenomenal job, and that goes from all of our 410 member schools to the staff here in the office. I'm just fortunate to be here uh, with the team that we have. Girls basketball center stage this week. Uh, Friday night, we have uh, a game. We have a championship game in 2A and then three games on Saturday. We're going to have four champions crowned by Saturday night. Again, it's amazing. And uh, Pacer Sports and Entertainment have just gone above and beyond, as they normally do, to make this event safe for everybody involved. They have. You know, it's... um... You know, we were we were at uh, Bankers Life yesterday making some additional plans with our team for the state finals, and right. just a phenomenal um, group of people we get to operate with at that at Bankers Life, and the, the entire staff is so accommodating, and you know they they have the desire to make things happen just as we do, and there's there's never a chance whether there's never a question whether we can do it or not. It's always right. about how do we get it done, and that's what. That's what great people do, and then we have, we're blessed with great partners. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community.
And we are back here at West Washington Junior Senior High School for the sectional matchup of the Crothersville Tigers and the Trinity Lutheran Cougars. Currently the Tigers, or the Cougars lead by seven, up 31 to 24. So far for the Tigers, Cable Spall's got 14 of the 24 points. And for Trinity Lutheran, their leading scorer is Hudson Norton. He's up to 12 points. Norton tries to throw it down low, but it's going to be taken away by Kiesler. And now Helt's going to push it ahead. It's a three-point try. It's no good. Klaus couldn't get it to fall. Now Norton with the rebound, and he's going to push it ahead. Norton swings it across. Hackman goes inside. Good pass down low. Swung over. Norton puts up a three. It's no good, but an offensive rebound for Saboten. Norton now inside. Swings out. There's a three-point try. It is no good. Will be rebounded by Klaus. Helt crosses half court. Helt's going to now try to hand it off to Spall, and he finally does. So now Spall guarded by Goker. Spall's going to swing it across for Helt. Helt's going to go right. Goes baseline, puts up the fader. It is no good. And it is rebounded by Marksberry. Marksberry's going to try to push it ahead. Ball's tipped right there. Norton with it. Now Saboten with it. He thought about the three. Now it goes down low for Marksberry, who gets a shot to fall. Ball now with it. This ball taking it slow is going to give it off to Helt on the wing. This ball now gets it in the corner. He's going to face up and now he's going to get a screen. This ball now is going to give it down low for Kiesler. Back out. Thought about a three. Now he's going to go in to the mid range area. He's going to get fouled on the shot. So he'll go to the line for two shots. Ball's first shot is no good. As 44, Devin Morgan comes into the game. This ball's second shot is up, and that one's good. That puts him at 15 on the game. So now Goker will bring it up. Goker goes left side for Saboten. Saboten's going to throw it down low. Marksberry with it. He's going to kick it out for Norton. Norton tried to go inside. Now a three-point try there. It's going to be no good by Hackman. Now Kiesler with it. He's going to kick it over for Helt. Helt now tries to throw it down low. It's going to be taken away by Saboten. Now wide open three there for Goker. It's no good. Rebounded by Morgan. Morgan will give it off to Spall and he'll take it up. Spall with it near midcourt. He's going to get a screen. Now a good pass down low. And a travel will be called as Stevens tried to go up with it. Now Goker will get and he'll bring it up. Goker's going to go for the pass there. Keesler's going to take it away. Goes behind his back. Gets all the way to the opposite block. Puts up a shot. It's no good. Now ball's on the floor. It'll be saved out of bounds. Spall now with it. He thought about the three. Now it appears that 32 Quentin Kiesler might be a little shaken up.
Kiesler's got three points on the game, hitting the three right at the end of the second quarter. Spall now with it. Tigers trail by eight. Spall goes left side for Helt. Helt goes back to Spall. Spall's now gonna need a screen in the corner from Kiesler. Spall goes behind his back through the legs, putting on all the moves. Thought about the three, jumped in the air, but gave it off to Kiesler in the corner. Now Kiesler's gonna get it up on the left wing. Now good back door, and there's a good layup right there by 44, Devin Morgan. Now Hackman with it, he goes baseline. Now I thought about the shot with two guys on him. Now he swings it over for Norton. Good catch there by Norton, almost went way over his head and out of bounds. Now it's swung over, Hackman goes back inside, goes baseline, it's tipped away, be out of bounds, and it will be the Cougars ball. Now ball swung across. Now Norton with it, he's gonna go it down low for Hackman. Goes back to Norton and he gets the let to go. It's now Spall with it again. Tiger's still down by eight. Morgan with it, he's gonna hand it off for Helt. Helt with it about the elbow, he goes inside, gets it knocked away. Now Goker's gonna take it on fast break with the bounce pass. Marksberry with it down low and he gets the layup to go. Marksberry now with nine points on the game. Kiesler is now gonna give it back over for Spall. Spall gets a screen. Now Spall with it. And at about the top of the key, he's gonna kick it over for Helt. Helt's now gonna throw it down low. Kiesler with it, dribbles it off his leg. And now Goker with it, he's gonna give it up for Norton. Norton gets the layup to go. And now a timeout will be called by the Tigers. Will this be a 30 second timeout? So now the lead has been extended all the way up to 12. So, so far, already five and a half minutes into this third quarter, Cable Spall has only managed to put up one point. Trinity Lutheran playing a lot better defense on him this quarter. Now Spall will bring it back up, trailing by 12. Spall now it goes for the back door, but it's going to be a kickball violation. Helt will take it out. He's going give to give it in to Stevens. Now it's swung over for Spall. Ball still guarded by Goker. It's been a matchup between those two all night. Ball trying to put on the moves. Steps back. He's going to swing it over for Helt. Helt now gives it back to Kiesler. Kiesler's going to throw it down low for Stevens, and a foul will be called on Saboten going over Stevens' back to try to get the steal. Helt will take it out. Gets it right in. Kiesler puts up the shot. It's no good. Savotin with the rebound. Gives it off to Goker. Goker gives it off to Norton. Thought about the shot. Got Kiesler in the air. and Misses the layup. Ball's knocked around now. Savotin gets it. He's going to give it back out to Goker and kick it across. Marksberry with it. He's guarded by Morgan. Marksberry goes inside. Gets it taken away. Spall with it. Spall almost got tripped up there. Now it's going to get taken away there. Goker's now going to push it ahead. And he's going to get the layup to go. Goker now up to eight points. Spall now with it. He's going to go all the way to the 
all the way to the rim and no foul called and now their foul is finally called on the second shot. It's now small good line for two shots. Ball's first shot is no good, in and out. This ball's second shot is good. He's up to 16 points on the game. Goker's going to give it across for Marksberry. Now Hackman with it. Hackman looking down low. Now he's going to drive inside. Good move there, and Hackman gets the layup to go. Mitchell Hackman now with eight points. As Spall brings it up. Just about a minute to go in the third quarter. Ball gives it off to Kiesler. Kiesler's now going to go left side. Gets all the way to the block. Gets the layup to go. It looks like Kiesler may have hit his head on the floor. Kiesler Nina just got the... Points. It seems he's made a good recovery. Going back on the court. Now Goker's going to have it. He's going to give it off to Marksberry. Now Kiesler's going to come out now. Now Marksberry's got it. Marksberry's going to dribble around. Bowman came in for him. Now Goker dribbling it around. 20 seconds to go. Might go for the last shot here. Don't want to give the Tigers another chance if they uh, they've already hit two buzzer beaters at the end of both quarters. Goker dribbles around. And he's just going to throw it away. So now with. Well, under nine seconds to go, Tigers are going to get another chance, and I believe this ball is probably going to go to Cable Spall. Or at least that would probably be what the plan is. Ball gets thrown to the ground. Now Bowman with it. Now the double team's coming. He throws it out of bounds, and they're going to say that it's off of Bowman as it hit him when he was standing out of bounds. So now a full timeout's going to be called, so we're going to go to a commercial break and come back for the final four seconds of the third quarter. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. Nope. Welcome back to West Washington. 
for the night sectional game between the Huddersfield Tigers and the Trinity Lutheran Cougars. Currently we're in the third quarter with only 3.9 seconds left on the clock, so expect a last second shot. Marks is gonna get it. Gets all the way to the basket, puts up a shot. It's gonna be blocked away. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. And before we leave, uh, we just like to go over the score. It is 43 to 30 with the Trinity Lutheran Cougars up by 13. So we're gonna go to another commercial break and then come back for the fourth quarter. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. Welcome back to West Washington for the fourth quarter of action between the Crothersville Tigers and the Trinity Lutheran Cougars. Going into this quarter is 43 to 30. Cougars lead by 13. And it is the Crothersville Tigers ball. Crothersville trails by 13, so they're gonna have to make up a lot of ground here. But they got eight minutes to do so. This ball will bring it up. <coughs> Spall's going to hand it off. Now another handoff. Klaus with it. He gives it back to Spall. Spall with a step back. Thought about the three. Gives it back to Klaus. Klaus gets all the way inside. Puts up the shot. It's no good. Now a foul will be called on Bowman. Now, Marksberry will bring it up. Marksberry gives it off for Goker. Goker throws it in for Hackman. Hackman with a spin, kicks it back out. Norton now with it, gives it back to Goker. Goker's gonna need to swing it over for Norton. Now get some good ball movement now. Goker with it, gets inside, puts up the shot. No good, and the foul is gonna be called. Five Bowman picks up his second foul. Goker's first shot is good. Second shot is good, putting him at 10 points. Now a quick, all the way down the court and Bowman's gonna get a layup. Hina has four. Now an easy layup there. As Marksberry gets easy layup. And that puts him at 11. Step back three there for Spall, it's good. I believe he now has 19. Marksberry gets right to the basket, he's gonna get the layup. Now a lot of scoring going on now. Ball's gonna get a screen. He pulls another three. That one's in and out. As Broughton has got, he's got a lot of rebounds this game. Gets another one right there. Norton's layup's no good. Goes back up with it. It's gonna be no good again. Now Bowman with it. He's gonna push it ahead. Bowman's gonna stop. Gives it off to Klaus. Now over for Spall. Spall almost pulled it from the logo. That would've been a pretty deep shot. Holt throws it in the high post for Bowman. Holt gets it and he's gonna get to the basket. And he's fouled. Couldn't get the layup to fall, so he'll go to the line for two shots.
Hilt's first shot's no good off the front of the rim. Second shot is good. And he now has three on the game. Marksberry now with it. Goes right, gives it off for Hackman. Hackman now gets inside. He's gonna have to kick it back out for Goker. Swings it across for Norton. Norton now goes inside, gives it off to Goker. That's swung back up top for Marksberry. Norton thought about the shot, goes into the paint, puts up the shot. It is good. And we'll be an and one. And I do believe that Norton now has 18 points this game. Free throw is good, putting him at 19. So now Hudson Norton and Cable Small both have 19. Ball with it now. Going to give it off to Bowman. Spall coming back around. Five minutes to go, and they trail by 17. We'll make that 16. Spall now puts up a deep three. That one's no good. Goker with the rebound. He's going to push it ahead. A two-on-one fast break. Bounce pass to Hackman. Shot is up. No good. Offensive rebound. Can't get it to go. Another rebound, and a foul will be called. That's Sage. Sage broke. Bro we'll now go to the line for two shots. First free throw is good. Now 22 Stevens comes into the game. That was Broughton's first point of the game. 42 Klaus will come out. Second shot is up and it's good. He now has two. Now Spall will take it up. Down by 18 with under five minutes to go. Helt with it. He's going to give it off to Bowman. Bowman dribbling around. Can't get it anywhere. Now he gives it off to Morgan. Morgan's going to give it off to Helt. Helt now goes right. Gets in the corner. He's going to have to try to dribble it back out. Bowman with it. Bowman gives it up to Spall. So you might see an isolation here for Spall. He's done it well all night. Spall with a step back, puts it up. No good. He's missed his last couple, and now the shots just aren't falling now for the Tigers. Norton with it. Norton's going to give it off to Marksberry. Marksberry kicks it across for Hackman. Hackman goes left, hands it off. Goker's now going to get a screen. He puts up the three-pointer. It is no good off the front of the rim, but an offensive rebound. Marksberry puts it up. It will be an and one. It's now a 20-point game with under four minutes to go. Free throw is good by Marksberry. That puts him at 16. Now Morgan, he throws up the three. It's no good, too strong. Now Goker with it. And he's gonna get the easy layup to go. And that layup right there put him at 12 points. Now we're gonna have a full timeout called by the Tigers. So we're gonna go to a commercial break. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, 
the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott Counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. Welcome back to West Washington as we pick up into the fourth quarter with only three minutes and 31 seconds left. Currently, the Cartersville Tigers uh, are down to the Trinity Lutheran Cougars because the score is 59 to 36. So now Spall will bring it up. Spall is going to hand it off for Morgan. Morgan now with the handoff for Health. Now hands it back off to Spall. Now it's looking like they're trying to just weave it around and try to get to the basket. Spall almost had an open shot. Goes with the spin, puts up the shot. It is good off the backboard. He's now up to 21 points. Mark Berry with it. Norton now with it. He's going to throw it inside. Saboten puts up the shot. It's no good. Rebound by Stevens. Now Spall with it. Ball now trying to go for the isolation. Goes left, goes with a half spin. Thought about the shot. Bowman now puts up a three. It's no good. An air ball may have been blocked a little bit. And now Norton with it on the fast break. He gets all the way to the basket, and it life is no good. First shot by Norton's no good. Second shot for Norton is good, putting him at 20 points. Ball now with it on the left side. This ball now gets all the way to the block and gets the layup to go. Pushing him over the 20 point mark and giving him 21. Marksberry now gives it off to Hackman. Goes it down low. Shot is good. Ball now with it. He's going to get a screen. Ball with the step back. Now gives it off to Klaus. Klaus is going to hand it back to Spall. Spall just pulls up. No good. Now foul will be called on Stevens. Now it will be a one and one. Norton's first shot is good. Now substitution for Trinity Lutheran. It's going to be 14, Caleb Williams coming in for number 10, Tyler Goker. Norton's shot is good. Now substitution for the Tigers. As 34, Stainbrook comes in. Now Spall's got it again. Minute 20 to go. 
Gets inside, goes up, no foul called, and we'll stay with the Tigers. Stevens gives it off to Spall. Spall's going to dribble all the way back out. Guarded by Hackman. Spall puts up a shot about the free throw line. It's no good. And it, the loose ball will go to Trinity Luton with a minute to go. It's now Hackman with the spin. Goes up. Going to kick it back out to the boat and puts up the jump shot. And it's good. Those were her, his first two points. Now a jump ball will be called on the missed shot. And now we have a big substitution for the Cougars. Number 12, 30, and 21 all go in. bit of pressure here at the end of the game. Now just dribbling around up top. Now a foul will be called. right there is no good. Spall with the rebound. He'll get one more shot here. Gets all the way to the basket. Puts up the shot. It's no good. Now Spall will foul there. Free throw is no good, an offensive rebound. That will be the end of the game where Trinity Lutheran comes out on top 66 to 40, and they will move on to the next round and take on Edinburgh. That will be the second game on Friday at se approximately 7.30. Which is right after the Medora versus West Washington game. We would like to thank you all for tuning in to tonight's uh, live stream and sticking with us to the end. And we hope to see you on Friday and Saturday for the rest of the sectional.